Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Ayushi and I am a fourth year undergraduate student at VITAP. In this video, I am going to answer three questions. What are the subjects that you need to study in CSPS? So what are the subjects that you need to study in MTech Integrated? Talking about software engineering checks that I have taken from some of the student of this CSBS. So in case see this, what are the subjects that I am telling this is what they were taught in my batch. Recently the curriculum has been updated. I don't know much about the subjects. So these are the subjects that are very basic in your first year. It's kind of related to computer science and also when it comes to first sem subjects like fundamentals of computer science and then coming to principles of electrical engineering. It is a basically e electrical course. I think even if you are from CSE you have to complete the courses related to electrical and all. Then coming back to business communication and value science of course it is a business system subject net next coming statistics probability and calculus when it comes to btech cse uh, i mean when it comes to cse calculus the only subject that you need to study is just calculus but when it comes to this csbs the subjects like i mean three subjects are included in one we have like CS cse people have different individual subjects if you did not watch the subjects that you need to study in first year and second year for btech cse so here is the video and as well as link is given in the description you can go and watch watch those videos now coming to back to another subject which is discrete mathematics so these two subjects they both are subjects related to maths integrated into one this is a discrete mathematics okay then coming fundamentals of physics okay coming to in sem so this is a subject that you need to study in your second sem it is about csbs linear algebra math subject statistical methods it's again i think related to maths then coming back to this fundamentals of economic business communication value science too so these two are the subjects which are i think business system ke one of the important subjects so see in business system CSBS you won't be choosing subjects as much as I know they'll assign you some subjects that are those subjects that you need to take then coming to principles of electronics engineering before it was checked principles of electrical energy now this is the second subject same subject but it has more advanced concepts then data structure and algorithm even if you are CSC you have to study this yes everyone has to study this then coming back to environmental studies as I think it is chemistry only so yeah so these are the subjects that you need to study in CSBS now talking about integrated mtech so in mtech integrated first sem um, subjects that you need to study are as i said some of the basic subjects basic chemistry and environmental studies this is a chemistry subject electrical and electronic engineering ece subject fundamental of communications in english fundamentals of calculus math subject then coming to introduction to soft skills uh, sts like aptitude things theek hai yahan pe you will learn about different aptitude questions introduction to programming in python so in second sem the subjects that you need to study in mtech is digital logic design and microprocessor it is again a ece subject advanced professional communication english applied linear algebra maths fundamental statistics fundamental of engineering physics physics i think introduction to business communication so i think this is a optional subject if you need to take see when you will do course registration you can select some of the extra subjects from every core like there are few baskets in our curriculum program core program elective university core university elective all those four credits there are certain number of credits that you have to complete there are the requirements that you have to complete then coming to introduction to business communication communication optional and concepts of object oriented programming this in this unit taught java objects list of mtech integrated and csp this is the things that we are done with now we are moving to software my specialization in btech csc in specialization with software engineering so i have been studying software engineering like majorly the specialization subject in my batch started in a second year in so there are few subjects that you need to study you know software engineering so i'll tell you subject which i studied software engineering child development software design and architecture then configuration management and requirements engineering management so basically the thing is if you really want to be good at software engineering the only i think only thing is if you study software engineering subject very well all the other subjects that i've studied of software engineering they are just a sub part if you have studied software engineering very well you really don't have to think much about other subjects just studying that software engineering one subject very well you can cover all other subject very easily very smoothly you don't have to you know take so much tension about it and that to software engineering is basically theory you won't learn anything in software engineering unless and until you go and make some projects so when i talk about some projects i would say ki if you are in your first year or almost you are good with one programming language you can start building the projects initially you will be like i don't know html i don't know this and that there are some of the projects which you can make by the use of java only you don't need uh, heavy skills like web development app development so that you can learn something theek hai in when you will come to the college the exam is like full theory very rare chances will be there ki you will have numericals most of the time it's just theory but when you are going to the lab make sure you are doing that project very well because at the end of the day you have to add that project in your resume if it is good in the description i have already shared some of the playlist from which i have followed learning basic things so this is all about software engineering subjects that you really need to study and i hope this video was helpful to you in case if it is do consider subscribing channel and we'll meet 
another video till then take care